Hey guys, it's Rindy. I am here with another introduction for the beginning of the year. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab created by Jalen and it is a year-long project pan so it goes from the 1st of January to the 31st of December and this is the child of the 80s project pan. I was born in the 80s so I'm kind of the younger version of the child of the 80s compared to some of the ladies who actually remember the 80s and they're the lucky ones because I was born in the wrong decade. But this is a rolling project. There are 40 prompts and we pick eight at a time and roll them out and pick a new number when we reach our goals on the products. So I picked my numbers earlier last year in October so I will insert that footage and then I will be right back to show you the products I picked for the numbers I rolled. Alright guys, so here we go. Let's generate some numbers. This is going to be way early and I won't be wearing the same clothes, but I want to get a look at this. It is October, so I need to figure out what products I'm using for my first eight products for this project. So I have my Google set for 1 through 40 and we'll go 33. Let me write it down while we're going here. I should have made a kid come out. 35. 22, 18, 26, 17, 2 more, 39, and 14. So I will be back to figure out what those products are. Okay, so let's get into the prompts and from the numbers I picked and the products I picked for those prompts. I did do this in numerical order, which is not how it happened in my footage of me selecting them, but for the sake of my spreadsheet and my sanity, we are going to go in num numerical order. So the first number I picked was number 14 which is the Goonies. The prompt is an item that was hard slash an adventure to find. And so I've picked out this cologne. Technically it is a cologne and it is right here. So this wasn't hard to find. I acquired this from my grandmother, but I had no idea what it was. I had to take it to the Makeup Awesomeness Facebook group, snap a picture and put it in there and have all of the knowledge from those wonderful people to figure out that this is called California by Dana. So that's where this one is at and I will be working on it throughout the year. And this will probably take a while because we're still not going anywhere, but I'm hopeful that we will start being able to go on dates sometime in 2021. Call me crazy. So that one was hard was was an adventure to find the name of it so I'm going with it the next number was number 17 that is dirty dancing which is a baby slash mini project so I picked the milk makeup cream blush it's like a lip and lip and cheek in the shade work and it is still up at the top and I will mark it as we go down with it. So that is still way up there, the little plastic still on. I've taken it off maybe twice to try it out, but I will work on this before it gets too dried out to use and see how I like the cream blush. The next number is 18, which is the Terminator, and that is a project product that won't quit. Any guesses? Quick pause and guess. It is the Cella tantalizing taupe brow gel this one looks like this and if you just saw it in my finale for a to z you know it's been hanging on all year when i finished that pro project on the 31st it was 3.308 grams so we'll see how much farther we get with this one as this year goes by and learn how many years a brow gel will actually last. 
The next number is number 22. That is just say no. It is something you don't like or hate. And I decided to go with this CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. It's a foundation, guys. There's nothing to write home about, but it's right there and it needs to get used up. So I don't really have feelings. I haven't found like a mind-blowing foundation in my life. So it's a foundation. I own it. I'm going to use it. That's, that's that. The next number is number 26, which is the Moonwalk, which is a black and white item, black or white item. And I've got a black and white item. It is the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. It is right here, if you can see the glare from the nail polish mark I put on it. And I do have to open it and look down in, so that is a guesstimate. But I think I'm pretty close on it. It's fairly new. So that one will also be getting worked through this year. The next one is number 33, which is shoulder pads, which is a product that amplifies. So I decided to give myself a give me product and picked the LA Colors Wowie Lash Mascara. This is just a little guy and it will be somewhere in the realm of expired in three to four months. It's been open for a couple months already. So that will be a give me regardless of if it's finished when it starts stinging my eyes. But one give me in a slew of products, I will take it. The next number is number 35, which is a tracksuit. It's something soft or that makes you feel comfortable. So I went with the Winter Vanilla Body Lotion. This one is at that mark. You can see where I marked it. And this one I expect to move through pretty quickly. It is winter here in the UP of Michigan. So we are dry folks around here these days. So that one I'm hoping to possibly have done even within the month, but we will see. And the final number I rolled was number 39, and that is Simon Says, which is a your choice product. So because I have the foundation, and if you've been paying, watching me and paying attention, I've been mixing a concealer with my foundations because they're too dark for me right now, and I refuse to buy a new one until I use these up. So I picked the Master Conceal by Maybelline and it is right there and I will be mixing it in to make the foundation the right shade for me. So that is my choice and that is what I will be working through. So those are all the products for the start of this year for this Child of the 80s Project Pan. I thank Jalen for creating this and inviting us fantastic ladies to join in. I am so excited to see where I can get with this project and finish projects and roll in more prompts. But anyways, I hope you will subscribe, stick around, check out my progress, check out the other fantastic ladies in this collab, and until the next time, I will talk to you all later.